and welcome to another video in this one i'll be showing you how to make a cool logo for your shopify store or brand that you're launching using canva now most of canva is free but we might use some premium features and without further ado let's dive in okay hey guys so i'm going to be showing how i make some cool logos for you know some of the brands that i launch and this is going to be just a very detailed process on how i make it i know <laughs> ai is very prominent these days and you can just make a logo with just text in some ai uh website or tool but uh, i prefer to make my own logos just because it gives me a lot more control a lot more creative freedom and at the end of the day i just want to be satisfied with what i've made so let's go ahead so the first things first is just to get a square blank canvas i usually just you know uh, do an instagram post uh, blank canvas so it gives me a square and what we're going to be making today is a logo for a new kids brand right so the first things first is uh, we have to think of a name so we just have to come up with a name i'm just going to be using as an uh, it as an example name here so let's say we are going to be uh, i just saw happy easter here so i have an idea so we'll name the brand happy monkey okay i think that's a very generic name and we will go with that so happy monkey the first thing so is to just basically write it down um on the blank canvas make it a little smaller so yeah that's pretty much it uh, this is going to be our control font where we can you know essentially figure out how uh, we're going to be comparing all the good fonts to this sort of basic font so the next step is to get some ideas so we'll head over to design here and we are just going to write um let's say kids right so it's going to give us a lot of kids templates and then we can sort of start to go through you know some things that we like here so i can see like this is a really cool font here so if we, if i click that i think it's going to show up here so it's going to replace my current page let's say we let it replace it and this is the font that we want so we'll go ahead and uh, delete everything else right so i know our control font went away i am aware of that so we'll just keep this as control font so this one is called uh, the lazy dog so we we'll keep this i think it's a really nice font so we're just going to center this a little and yep that's about it that we have our first so essentially we're going ahead and just you know shortlisting the fonts here right so we're going to name it happy monkey right oops sorry just a second and yeah that's it i think that's a cool color as well uh, color you don't have to worry about colors come in later so we can uh, you know we let this color be because i like this color so we, I'll, i'm just short listing this for later moving forward let's look at some other fonts i think we'll find some more cool ones here so i see um i like this spring font so just to see what font this is we will you know add this as a new page you can even replace it and just see what font this is this is called more sugar so i'll come up here now and i'll simply just copy paste this using command c and a command v on my mac control c control v on a windows laptop same thing I'll just wait for it to do that my laptop's being a little slow sorry about that and yeah that's it we just do that and it was called more sugar so we just go ahead here in lazy dog and just search for more sugar and yeah that's oh, that's cute we just need to capitalize the h in the beginning and yeah happy one getting these two are really nice fonts we <laughs> i am really liking this so far so moving forward i think this one's just a little too generic i think this is the same one as the happy monkey and moving forward i think oh the summer sale font is pretty nice let's see which one that is add it as a new page and sorry this is called what is this font called it'll just show up in a second oh it's the same more sugar yeah so we've already done that um this is a really nice font as well i think this is a cute font it's more handwritten so let's check what this one is this is called gochi hand okay cool gochi hand we we'll shortlist that one go up here command c command v make another copy and we we'll 
just sorry we we'll just go ahead and search for gochi hand gochi gochi hand got it cool we already have three fonts we don't want to do too much i think um 5 to 7 is good enough for you to shortlist and i think this kids font also looks pretty pretty cool so I'll add this as a new page as well and see what font this is I think they've also done a um, shadow on it so this is <laughs> i don't even know how to pronounce this so what we're going to do is we simply copy it and we just come and paste it here on this page <clears throat> oops i pasted it here we'll just drag it here and just go for happy monkey So we size that and resize that. We'll remove the effect for now because I'm not really liking the shadowiness of it. So we'll just go for none. And yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I think that this also looks pretty, pretty damn nice. Cool. Um, now I think these are pretty good ones. This is a little too cursive, I would say. Oh, this good afternoon is pretty, pretty cool because it's. I think it's a little. It's bold and it's big, and it just, it just looks really nice in my opinion. And you know, easy to read fonts are always, always great. So this one is called. Let's see. It's called Bobby Jones. That's a cool name. We'll go for that. We'll do Command C, Command V once again, and we'll just search for Bobby Jones. Got it. Okay, cool. So this is an all caps font. You'll see some fonts are only caps. Like this one was only caps. This is only caps. So this is the way to sort of do it and just shortlist the font. So I think we're done with the shortlisting. I think these these look pretty cool in my opinion. All of these. We'll just uh, space them apart a little and just take a look at what looks the best. Okay, cool. Um, I still think the the first two are looking the best to me, to be honest. And I'm pretty sure the second one is my favorite because it has that little sketch pen kind of uh, writing, the sketch pen kind of strokes. So I think that looks pretty cool. I mean, again, it's down to your personal opinion. I just think that looks really cool. It's a, it's very like kid friendly, child friendly. So I think I want to go with that. I even like the color that's on there. So it's, it's just a really, I think it's a very joyful sort of exciting font. And again, none of the kids are gonna be looking at this. I mean, they might if you're targeting your ads to them. Uh, if Facebook actually is showing the ads to you know 13 or 17 year olds or whatever, like you know they have their mom's phones or their dad's phones, but um, the parents are actually going to be the ones looking at the font. So at the font, at the logo, I mean, and uh, those are the people you need to convince to buy your product, right? And the whole point is that the whole vibe of your website and the whole branding of your website is going to come through your logo, come through, start from your logo itself. And if that isn't like you know kid friendly enough if parents don't think it the website looks kid friendly enough they're not gonna buy stuff from a website uh, you know for their kids so let's go ahead and simply just delete all of these we can even keep these we'll just uh, you know duplicate this page and we'll just delete the rest of them just a second yeah so we'll <coughs> keep the duplicate there sorry delete the rest and sort of make this a little supersized. Now we already have the text, so we want we now want to add just a couple of other elements. We want to keep our logo very minimal. We don't want to do too much to it, but you still want to have some, you know, like cool elements to it, and so it's not too generic. Uh, so let's try to add, you know, something playful to it. Um, First things first, I do like this color, so I'm gonna keep this color so you can always play around with the color, you know, like you can go here and click on this little uh, text color selector and you'll obviously get a lot of colors here and if you want even more, you click this plus sign and obviously you're going to find so many more colors and you can just, you know, choose whatever the hell you want. I'm gonna keep this one, you can even use a hex code to, you know, add your color that you saw somebody somewhere else. 
or somebody else using or some other brand that you're inspired by i'm gonna keep it uh, keep it to this and we're going to move on so this font size is a little small in my opinion we're gonna make it a little bigger we might even need to make it smaller again if we're going to add something else later but for now i'm just gonna we don't want to take we don't want to make the text take more space than you know it requires because then that leaves more space for us to sort of add our elements now since this is um, you know it's it has the word monkey in it and the word happy so we i think uh, we'll be it's going to be a good idea just to add like a cute monkey in the logo somewhere uh, maybe you know in between the happy and the monkey or you know maybe if we uh, do it you know we replace the o in the monkey with like a monkey face or just add it on the top something like that let's just find something cool first let's see what we can find in the element section so head over to elements here search i don't know my laptop's just being really really slow right now for some reason so we're going to go for monkey here and let's see what it brings that's a double k that's not a spell monkey so yeah uh cool and you always want to go for graphics because we don't want videos and photos and you know audios of course so we're gonna go to graphics and this is where we find wow that's some cute ass monkeys um cool i think uh we just want a face we don't want like the full body of a monkey i would say because that would uh you know i think that just look better uh like something like this might work it's cute it's playful uh, but i'm looking more for something like this but like just a little cuter this looks too <laughs> big of a monkey and definitely not this because that's not even happy so um, let's actually go ahead and try to write happy monkey itself here and see what comes up right so yeah so this i think would be a better idea because now we're actually seeing happy monkeys so i still think this is really really cute so we're just going to uh, you know get this in into our document into our uh, canvas we're not going to use it just using this as an option for later maybe um meanwhile let's try to find something else that's a cool graphic but i don't think that's a monkey i mean doesn't look like it to me and we're going to keep scrolling at you know try to try to find like a monkey face that is probably going to go with the brand with this and you also want to make sure like the monkey face is actually going with the uh, the font that you've used so the font and the graphic has to go well together i think that that's also a pretty big part of it all of these are like pretty pretty okay not the best i would say like something like this would work real well but i still don't think this is this is going well enough with our uh, with that text so i'm just thinking out loud Oh this is nice this is like a little uh, you know cute face very minimal and as i can see we can also sort of color this in whatever color we want so now so let's say of course i definitely like this better than this so we're going to get rid of that right so okay cool that's off so now we want to make this the same color as this and the way to do that is pretty simple you click on your font and you click on the text color again you click on this plus and we'll just find the hex code here so command copy command c we'll copy the hex code and then we click on the monkey uh we click on the color of the monkey and we click on the plus icon and we can simply just command v which is going to paste it and that's it we have our color copied on to the element Huh, okay i still think this is pretty cool but i think it could be a little better i mean oh these are pretty cool these magic recommendations actually work out really well sometimes so you always want to check these out now that of course you know we like this it's going to show us more of these and think like these are also this is also pretty cute i do like that um let's scroll down and see if we have something better uh, that, that those look more like robotic monkeys to me now i think uh, It's too much AI going on here. <laughs> cool. Let's let's move forward. Um, let's see if we have any more nice ideas. Nice. Oh, that's that's a really cute monkey with a with a banana. Again, uh, this is this is just me trying to perfect my logo. You don't have to go this deep. Like this would work just as fine if we, you know, just if we just went ahead and did something like, let's say. so let's go ahead and actually 
give some more text bit uh, space between our text so if we do this and we shorten it a little and we lengthen it a little is going to give us more space in the middle and we just going to go ahead and center this um, position and we're going to center this and we do this so now now that we have this in the middle of a page we can go ahead and you know just place the monkey somewhere in the middle i still think the monkey is a little too big so we might need to make it a little smaller and just try to place that somewhere in the middle let's see okay we're aligned with the text yeah so something like this would actually work now that these are um, we can actually make this uh, yeah so now we can just select all of these and we can group these so they become you know one element and now we can again resize the whole logo itself and uh, yeah we can once again go to position and we can go ahead and you know center it and just put it in the middle and that's pretty much it uh, you know that that makes for a really nice logo i think and again like I, i'm trying to perfect my logo and i'll probably you know i could go ahead and keep looking for more and more elements but i think like this looks really really cool and uh, i think i might even just use this font uh, use this logo itself on one of my brands and i'm going to show you one more trick where you can actually make this use this logo as you know like the cover for your instagram page and your facebook page because uh this is a little too plain in the background like this is fine for your website because of course you want to keep your website's header pretty clean and nice and white um so that's pretty cool but like for your facebook page uh, display picture your instagram page uh, display picture this might not look the best so what we want to do is a very simple thing we just go ahead and duplicate this and <clears throat> right let's say we have this now what we want to do is we've already cover um copy the the hex code for this color we're just going to go ahead and do that once again so in the text color we're going to go to this plus and we'll just simply copy this code now what you want to do is you want to just click on the background itself right and you want to change the background color to this color of your logo color so we simply just going to go ahead here in the plus again uh paste it and of course this is going to you know make your logo disappear because the colors have now all blended together so now if you just select this you know just drag your mouse across and you now change this to white itself so that's going to give us like a really nice really nice looking logo and uh, you know creates a very cool contrast and you just click on change all and it's going to also change the color of the monkey in the middle i think oh sorry that actually just change it across my main logo page so just command z to like undo that if you click in the middle you you're pretty sure i'm pretty sure you're going to find the monkey and now we go to this uh color and yeah we just going to select white the monkey appears yeah so that's how you can use this as like you know like a contrasted uh, a contrasted logo to this one uh for your facebook pages and your instagram pages and whatever brand pages that you might want to use maybe use this color in your brand posts and yeah that's about it you can just go ahead and click on share to download all of these logos here in high quality and that's it that's how i make a logo for a brand that i'm going to launch or a shopify store that i'm going to launch so see you in the next one thanks